Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impressions on some new drugstore makeup. I have the new L'Oreal bronzer, the new um, Total Temptation mascara, as well as the Total Temptation brow pencil. A lot more things so if you want to see my first impression on this then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so the first product I am going to try is this Becca primer. It does not even say the name on here. It is the purple one though, so we're going to try this. So I'm just going to apply, oh my god, I don't know if I'm going to use this. It is super watery. Alright, we're just going to try it for YouTube. So I'm just going to apply it in areas, basically my whole face. I'm kind of surprised of how watery this stuff actually is. I never would have guessed that. And I didn't even say what this primer is supposed to do. What it's supposed to do is revive and brighten so we'll see. It kind of smells like lemons as well. So I should have probably did half my face. But this actually is pretty on the skin. It's definitely giving me a nice glow. And for my foundation today. Um, I recently just got this Laura Mercier foundation. And yesterday I tried to film a wear test. But the video didn't come out like I wanted it to so I deleted it and I'll refilm it but today I'm going to mix the Flawless Fusion with the Born This Way foundation and I'm using my L'Oreal sponge Okay, so now I'm done with foundation, and I do like these two mixed together. And for the concealer, I am a little worried because I'm pretty sure it's going to be too dark, and I was very excited about it. Where is it? I got the new Makeup Revolution concealer, and just by swatching it, I know it's not going to work. For my under eye, that looks darker than I am. So maybe we're just going to try a little bit and add some ooh, of a lighter concealer. We'll try it on one eye. I'm very nervous about it. It looks lighter in the tube than it is. Oh, that's not, that's definitely not going to work. I guess I'll just do the same thing I did to the other side to make it even. I'm very sad about it because this is supposed to be like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. But instead we're going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Okay, so for the next product I have here the new Makeup Revolution Liquid Illuminator. And I have it in the color Champagne and I'm just going to shake it before I use it and then apply it to the cheekbones and I've really been into like liquid illuminators lately for some reason because I'm not really into like cream contour or anything like that but I have been liking these liquid illuminators oh that is pretty so far, I like this one better than the Wet n Wild and the L'Oreal ones. I'm just going to add a little more. I am really liking this. It's just such a nice glow. And it's, it's like a glit from within kind of glow. It's not like too much. I might need to add more because I like more of like a 
highlight that's very noticeable. I just don't know if you'll be able to see it through the powder. But this is beautiful. And always put down cream and liquids first and then powders. On this side it looks like it's just kind of sticking in one place. I don't know what's up with all these illuminators that are doing that lately. Well, maybe that's all of them, because I, like I said, I haven't really been into liquid illuminators. So, I just did it on my nose, and I'm going to just tap it out with my finger. But I really am liking this liquid illuminator, and it's in the color Champagne, if anyone is interested. And now I'm just going to set my face with the Patrick Star powder. I don't have a full face of everything. But I basically do. I just don't have like three things. So I'm going to use this powder to bake. And now I'm just going to dust my bake away. And I don't really let it sit for that long. I kind of just set the rest of my face and then I'm done with it. Okay. Mm, can you see the highlighter through? Yes, you can. Yes. Oh. Okay, well, I don't know how I feel about it under powder. It kind of looks like it, there's a huge line, but maybe we can fix it with um, extra highlighter on top because I'm going to do that anyways. So the next product we are going to use is the Total Temptation Brow Definer, and this is the weirdest thing. There's like a teardrop, um, a teardrop tip to the end. And then the spoolie is like that short. So we'll see. I'm kind of nervous about this brow pencil. But the spoolie is working pretty good, actually, for like this size. It's very like precise. So I'm probably not going to be able to talk very much whenever I'm doing this. This is so weird. And I got it in the shade Soft Brown, if you're wondering. It definitely defines, I actually am liking this brow pencil. Um, I like this one better than the Wet n Wild one so far. I actually like this. I was kind of nervous about it, but it's working really well. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but it's working for what I'm how I'm using it. Okay, yeah, I definitely like this brow pencil a lot. Probably my favorite I've ever tried. But keep in mind, this is my first time using it, and also keep in mind, I haven't tried that many brow pencils. Okay, this brow pencil has a thumbs up for me, and what's kind of weird is that, well not weird, I actually think it's cute, is that everything is like a blush pink, 
not everything, but like a lot of things these days, they're making things blush pink. And I think that's really, really cute. Okay, so my camera died and I had to charge it for a little while. So the next product is the True Match Lumi Bronze It by L'Oreal. And this is what it looks like. It's really big and I'm very excited to try it. The reason I want to try it is because of Allie Glimes on YouTube. She like raves over it. So I was like, okay, I'll buy it. Okay. I definitely like it. It's definitely light. And I also got it in the color 01 light, so... And then I always like to go in with my powder brush and kind of buff it out. But I also like to do that after blush. But the next thing I'm going to use is the Master Chrome Highlight in the shade Rose Gold. I really like the Molten Gold, I think is what it is. So we're going to do this one today. And I really like the formula of this, so I know I'm already going to like it. And then for my blush, I am going to use one from Milani, the rose one. So I'm just going to dip into that a few times and apply it to the cheeks. And I always like to go up here a little bit. And then I definitely now will take my powder brush and blend it all out. I just find that the translucent powder that's left over on it will just kind of mix it all together and make sure there's no like harsh lines or anything. And then I have a brow definer or brow illuminator from Maybelline. So it's shaped pretty weird. It's a square. And so I'm just going to apply this right under the brow. You definitely kind of need to like warm it up on the back of your hand. And I'm only going to do the arch because that's the only place. Like the arch and the tail. Those are like the only places I like to highlight. And I really like that actually. But it kind of doesn't glide very easily. Okay, there's the lid, and now we're going to move on into eyes, and I'm going to use the Morphe 24G palette, and my friend Amanda gave this to me because she ordered one for herself, and then she got one in, and one of the shadows was broken, so she contacted Morphe, and they sent her a new one. And this is the one they sent her, and you can see that two of the shadows are broken. So she gave it to me, and she finally got one that was not broken, so that is great. And thank you, Amanda, for giving this to me. Okay, so we're going to go into... Um, probably this shade and this shade for my transition shades and this palette is super messy just because it is broken but that's okay and I'm just gonna do a pretty soft look and those two shadows are very pigmented and I went a little high with them that's great I 
I really like this so far. And then I want to go into... I think I want to go into this pink and the shade right next to it. And just fluff that over the transition shade a little bit. I also like that. They're blending pretty good. And I do have a base down on my lids. I just use concealer and set it with powder. I think I might have already said that. But that is basically what we're going to do for the crease. And then I'm just going to... Huh. I think I'll go into this shade right here. And I'm just going to use my finger and pat it on the lid. I'm not doing anything like very precise. I'm kind of just doing like an everyday look. Because those are my favorite looks. And I'm not being very precise at all. I'm kind of just slapping it on the lid. If it gets in the crease, it gets in the crease. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to go into the transition shades. So now I'm done with the eyes. Actually, I'm going to highlight the inner corner using the same lid color. Okay. And the last new product I have will is the um, new Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara and it's like a matte packaging and it's a like a blush pink and it's really pretty and this is what the wand looks like it looks very very good I have a feeling I might like this mascara so I'm just going to apply this this kind of smells like coconut weird This does a really good job at lengthening. I think that's really what it's doing is just lengthening my lashes. This really smells like shampoo or something for babies. I don't know. And then for the lips, where did it go? Oh, found it. And then for lips, I'm just going to use a nude lipstick. This one is from Limelight by Alcone, but there are a ton of colors like this out there. So yeah, that completes this tutorial, and basically everything I liked. I actually would say the Liquid Illuminator is not my favorite right now, but I want to keep playing with it to see if I can get it to work better. Next time, I think I'll try to tap it out with my fingers instead of using a sponge. And there's one other thing I did not use in the video that I got, and it is the Physician's Formula Coconut and Bamboo Eye Depuffer. And I do have this on underneath my makeup. I did it when I got out of the shower with my skincare. And so far, I like it. I've only used it once, so I can't really say much about it. And yeah, so basically everything I would give a thumbs up, but just remember it is my first impression, and... I haven't used it very much, like today's literally the first day, that's what a first impression is. But so yeah, take that with a grain of salt, but everything so far I definitely would recommend. And yeah, so I hope that you subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you back next time. Bye!